Hi everyone, welcome back to Call Me Kinky. Happy New Year's Day. It's 4 a.m. where I am and I just got back home. So I decided that I wanted to just come on camera really quick and share with you my look for tonight. So this is what I'm wearing. I will put the designer for everything that I mentioned below. So I'm wearing this dress. These dresses have been fairly popular this season. I actually was supposed to wear a different dress, but because I was going to multiple events tonight, or I was supposed to go to multiple events, I ended up only going to one. I decided to wear something that would be a great outfit for both events. So this dress, really, really cute. Definitely perfect for any almost any nighttime occasion. Really great detailing down the back. I love the way the back is. Here's the side and here's the front again. I have on just my stud earrings gold and silver i also have on these two hair clips and they're actually like little um bows which to me is just like really perfect for the holiday season this thick necklace um it's somewhat of like a choker necklace i got it at charm and charlie today for 60 percent off so i ended up paying like 320 for this necklace and then i got this bracelet and i think the bra bracelet was like four dollars and 16 cents but I decided to pair these together. They did not come as a set, but when I saw them in the store, I knew that, that they would be a good match. So I kind of stuck with the gold pattern tonight. So this is what the dress looks like, but I didn't wear it like this. Um, I took it up to another level because I did go to a dinner party. So I, I decided to wear my cape blazer. So it looks like a simple blazer. I actually ordered this from JCPenney. The brand is Worthington, it's a size four. But it's one of the cape blazers, and I think it's absolutely adorable. It really, really dresses up any look. If you're going for a more for formal look, I highly recommend it. My bracelet is getting stuck. Okay, so this is what the cape looks like on. So I decided to actually wear the cape on top to add another dimension and another elegant statement with the whole entire look. So this, I'm really, really feeling it. You can also button it right here. It's not a formal button. It's almost just like a silver clasp. So there's a silver clasp across the front as well that you can do. You can cinch it in at the waist to create a little bit more structure to your look. This is what it looks like. So it's primarily cotton, but then it has this um, satiny looking um, accent paneling right down the front of the blazer. And then here are the sides the broad shoulders, here's the back, fairly simple, just like a cape, and it goes like right below my butt, butt tops, and then here's the front again. So I, I added this, and unfortunately you guys cannot see my shoes because of the angle of the camera, and I've been trying to work on uh, where could I tape in my house where I have decent lighting, and where you guys could actually see the entire look, um, but unfortunately I haven't gotten it just perfect yet. So just bear with me. I will add pictures. Hopefully the pictures will allow you to see the entire look from top to bottom, including the tights that I'm wearing, which are just some very basic um, opaque tights, as well as a nice um, stiletto shoe that has somewhat of a patent leather at the toe. Actually, I'm gonna tilt the camera down and see if that helps. So let me get off camera real quick and I'll be right back with another clip that hopefully will show the entire look. All right, you guys, so this is the shoe that I decided to wear. These are actually some of my favorite um, shoes that I got from DSW a few months ago. They were definitely a great investment. They are um, suede, and then right at the toe, it has the shiny patent leather um, design to it. Very, very nice and comfortable, um, and it fits so perfectly on the foot, and it kind of dresses up almost anything that you may be wearing to work or out. And... Next, I'm going to just give you guys a quick look into my face. So I decided to do a gold lid, and it's actually gold and silver. And I had a dark brown in my crease. Now keep in mind that my makeup has been done since 8 o'clock, and it's now 4 a.m. So it may not look exactly like it looked before, but I would... I definitely believe that after wearing my makeup for this long, it still looks really good. My face is not oily at all. I wore my BB cream 
And then I did some concealer where I have hyperpigmentation and I used two pumps of my MAC um, Studio Fix um, foundation and I applied that on top of the beauty, on top of the BB cream using my beauty blender. I also added a bronzer. One, one bronzer I used was the e.l.f. bronzer. The other bronzer was a bronzer that I really liked by LA Girl that I got at Dollar Tree. I also just used a, a chocolate brown pencil to fill in my eyebrows. And then I added some false lashes. These lashes are also from the Dollar Store and they're by LA Girl. And I actually think these are really good lashes. I mean, they look fairly natural, but they give you just a little bit of umph. I didn't want to do too much. I also added a little bit of gold liner under my eye and I followed that up with a gold eyeshadow just to set it. And it actually is still kind of there. It's not perfect, but it's still there considering it's been um, over eight hours. I had a gold and nude color lip, but it's pretty much worn off now. I also had a somewhat of a peaches, kind of like a peach colored blush on my cheeks that I also got from Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is come back and do a look with what I used to achieve um, everything on my face. I also used a primer spray um, that I'll be doing a review on soon. And then I um, use my professional as well. So I use two different primers to make sure that I stay matte for the majority of the night because I knew I would be gone all night. And of course my hair is straightened right now. I just pulled it all over to one side, added these clips, and it really gave it a nice look. And all I did was use flexi rods to maintain the curls. And that is it. My hair has so much body and it's really, really soft. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you are having a great New Year's Day. Um, I will be writing more on my blog and stuff, so make sure you click the link below to go to my blog. Go ahead and subscribe, and make sure you subscribe here as well. If you have any questions, comments, all of that kind of stuff, leave it below. And until next time, peace, love, and prosperity. Bye.